Hi, my name is Ashley, aka Best Dressed on the internet. Um, I recently graduated from film school and now YouTube and Instagram is my full-time job, somehow. To this day, I still have trouble describing my personal style. I would say it's very vintage and thrift store inspired. The big things that I splurge on are basics and things that need like structural integrity. So that would be shoes and jeans. The ones I'm wearing right now are the most expensive piece of clothing I've ever bought myself. I bought them from Reformation for like $600. I ordered them on impulse and I was like, like, you're gonna go and return those, Ashley. And then I tried them on and I was very bad and I didn't return them. <laughs> but I absolutely love the lace up detail on these. They are so well made, they're handmade in Italy, they're from a sustainable brand. And sustainability is something that I'm really passionate about and that I'm trying to incorporate more into my wardrobe. But I also recognize it is such an elitist issue to ask somebody to pay $200 for a sustainably made Reformation dress when they might be working minimum wage or they might be in student debt. I know buying sustainable can be really expensive. So that is why I love thrift shopping. Speaking of secondhand, my dress is from a thrift store and it is actually the cheapest item of clothing in this entire outfit. What immediately caught my eye about this dress is all of the detail. It has this really cool beaded bodice. This is a very light and flowy dress, but as we're coming up on fall, I think I can layer it with a jacket and take it into the colder months. I also love layering turtlenecks or mock necks under sleeveless dresses like this. So overall, I think it will be a very versatile piece. This jacket is also from Goodwill. I got it for $15 and I love vintage denim because it's so sturdy, but also since somebody has worn this jacket a lot, it's nice and broken in for me. So it's the perfect balance of like sturdy and soft and comfortable. The graphic on this jacket is the coolest thing ever. It says Harley Davidson, love rider. There's something special about thrifting that makes you want to go out of your comfort zone. To add a little bit of a punk rock edge to this outfit, I added this black fanny pack from Brandon Blackwood. They have a really cool initiative called the Blackwood Project that helps provide food and shelter and education to homeless people, which I think it's a really cool way to combine the worlds of high fashion and help give back to the community of New York. My long necklace is from Vanessa Mooney, and I always like to layer up my necklaces, so I also added this gold choker from Melody Asani. I actually designed these earrings myself, which I'm very, very excited about. I made a whole line of affordable jewelry that is inspired by vintage pieces. It's been really cool seeing my sketches and my ideas come to life. My name is Kelsey. I'm a fashion, beauty, and lifestyle YouTuber, and I'm also a model. I'd like to say my style is a little bit European at the moment. I definitely get inspired by a lot of like French-inspired fashion. It's also very vintage. I probably wear more vintage pieces than I do anything else. I think something original is so cool. The shoes that I'm wearing are vintage Chanel kitten heels. I love kitten heels. They're my favorite shoes of all time. So I honestly have so many of them. It's a problem. The pants that I'm wearing are so cool. They are these Chloe slacks that have a horse decal on the side. I found these at a vintage designer consignment store and I actually found them four sizes too big for me and I literally didn't even care. I was like, I'll just get them tailored. They're so cool. I have to have them. So I like this sweater because it's a little bit more comfortable and relaxed with the slacks. I like a nice juxtaposition of different styles. I feel like I do that a lot when I'm getting dressed as I pick out different things that make them work together. For my earrings, I'm wearing my beloved Dior studs and my mom got these for me as a birthday present when we were in Venice and they're just so, so pretty. I wear them like every day. For my rings, they're all from completely different places. I really love just stacking a bunch of random rings. This pinky ring is from Argento Vivo, which I'm actually coming out with my own collection with them soon. So that's really fun and they engraved it with a K for me. The bag that I have is also vintage. I actually found this at a antique store. My mom and I love to go antiquing, especially because we're moving and we love decorating our house with vintage pieces as well. So vintage consumes my life in every aspect. I'm Sai Da Silva. I am a lifestyle blogger at Scout the City, and my personal style is, I would say, sometimes feminine, sometimes a little bit tomboy chic. Uh, today, I am rocking just a cool pair of Supergas. They are white, they go with everything. I'm a mom on the go, and I care about what I look like. I always come back to Supergas because they're comfortable, and I mean, they can really jazz up a look. Today I'm wearing a vintage skirt that I found from the Brooklyn Flea Market. When I saw it, I was like, I have to have it. It has an odd shape to it and it just, it has pockets. Anything with pockets, I am sold. 
let's get into this top. I found this top and I was over the moon for it. It's an old school Brooks Brothers men's button down that was tie dyed and it's cut and frayed at the bottom. I fell in love with it. I felt that it was tie dyed perfectly and you know what? I thought I was gonna be the only one to like it, but lo and behold, tie dye is back, baby. Today I'm going with a wallet on chain, a cute little YSL bag that I've had for quite some time. It is white, I pair it usually in the winter, in the summer, basically seasonless. And then let's go to the necklace. I feel like I scored really big on the necklace. I was after a very big gold chunky link necklace. On one side, it is more of a plain heart, but on the other, if you flip it around, there is a big black medallion. So I feel like I can get more out of it. And as far as my watch, it is a vintage Rolex watch that I've had for many, many years. It's something that I wear constantly. Every single day, I reach for it. It's just a very timeless piece. I found an amazing feminine classic tiny black diamond ring with a small black agate stone on it. It's great, it goes with everything, and more importantly, I love to layer my rings. Let's talk sunnies. I got these secondhand gold frames, go with everything, and hello, you look chic while you're in the sun.